Siluan was a Polish Jewish refugee and artist who lived in the United States. His work, The Parade, a series of drawings he made in preparation for a wordless novel published in 1957, draws inspiration from Lewin's long-standing interest in cinema, the traditions of the graphic novel, as well as his early life in Europe, and experience as a soldier enlisted with the United States Army during World War II. With stark lines and clarity, and without a single word, Lewin articulates a nuanced understanding of cycles of violence. The artist was born during the final days of World War I. The armistice parades after that conflict, the rise of Nazism, and the brutal violence of World War II and the Holocaust all inform his haunting tale. This body of work speaks to the seductive glory and rhetoric of military parades, followed by soldier enlistment, community deprivation, the horror of war, devastating destruction, death, and heartbreak. The story ends where it begins, an eternal cycle of violence. The first drawings in the book capture the groundswell of pride and patriotism as children and adults gather to cheer for a military parade. As the narrative progresses, men again march in line, this time to combat. Bayonets pierce bodies, emaciated animals seem to scream in agony, and prisoners are kept and killed behind barbed wire fences. To make these drawings, Lewin prepared illustration boards with a layer of gesso, which provided a certain depth that allowed the artist to scratch into the surface. Lewin used a palette of black and white, which mirrors his observation that war removes color from the world. Lewin's drawings were made after World War II, a conflict in which he served on behalf of the United States. The drawings are grounded in the events of the Holocaust while also evoking atrocity across time and place. They function as a warning about the cyclical nature of violence, a message as potent today as it was in 1957 when the book was published. <laughs>